So, but as usual, that in your previous class that we had studied about uh, quadratic yeah. graphs and uh, their properties. Okay. Yeah. Now, plotting graph for nonlinear. So, let's start. Let's see that what type of terms are given here. Basically, you have to understand that if any type of equation is given, simply you have to plug in the values of x. Regarding to that, you will get the value of y. Okay. And combination of x and y, that will be your ordered pair. Okay? okay. That you have to mention on graph. And 100% that you will, you will get your graph of required function. Okay? okay. Or required equation. Understand? Yes, sir. So here in this topic, beta, we would like to study about plotting quadratic graphs, cubic graphs. Oh yes, reciprocal graph. Yeah, that's what. That's great. So here, beta, as usual, you are seeing that they are giving that. How do we draw the graph of y equals to 2x square plus 5x minus 4? For minus 3 is less than x is less than 3. That means you have to draw this graph. Yeah. on the graph paper of limit minus 3 to 3 okay on x axis okay uh. yes because that whatever whatever its a uh, uh, range is given that is with respect to x axis so that means minus 3 to 3 that you have to draw the graph over there understand yes, <laughs> so first thing is that we have to uh, make a little bit table regarding to that either four or five points we have to make we have to plug in four or five values of x regarding to that we will get the value of y over there and that will be of our ordered pair yeah you can see here <coughs> that because it is of your quadratic graph so yeah. as I explained that to you that quadratic graph that will be parabolic in shape okay okay so parabolic in shape also I explained that to you that if that if there will be parabola so 100% there will be a turning point okay uh -huh. so turning point that means so whatever point that will be with respect to positive axis with respect to y that will also be on negative axis or negative in values with respect to other side okay <laughs> with respect to turning point so you can see that x equals to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 so x equals to minus 3 so 3 3 is a 9 2 is a 18 18 minus 5 3 is a 15 18 minus 15 so you will get 3 minus 4 i think you will get minus 1 so in that way yes so each and every one that we have to plug in over there minus 3 18 yes so in this way that 2x square minus 18 okay when you will plug in minus 2 then in that way oh my god we had to complete this table very quickly so how much it will be the time 8 yeah there will be 8 next 2 2 and, and then 0 and then 0 and then 2, 8, 18. Yeah, 2, 8, 8, 18. And 18. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Perfect. So next is when you will mark it, that one. Yeah, that's right. So uh, next, that is with respect to 5x. Uh, you have to do minus that. 10. Minus 10. Wait, minus 10. Next. Minus 5. Minus 5. And 15. And 15 there will be yeah fantastic it's also right yeah in this way that uh, you are means you are plugging the values of x in all the terms of your given equation okay and then minus 4 is as usual minus 4 is your uh, intercept as I explained that to you minus 4 for all yeah minus 4 is that point on y axis where the graph will cut okay okay Understand? Yes, sir. Great. So now. Minus yes. 1. Yeah, so that will be minus, 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 minus 4, minus 4. All that will be. And so that means now value of y. Value of y now you have to consider. Minus 1. Okay? 
so i think that uh, each and every values that you have to do that and you will get minus 1 yes minus 1 and then regarding to that the other one you can tell me quickly minus 6 uh minus 6 you are saying minus 6 great next minus 7 Minus seven. It will be minus four. Minus four. Then three. I think yeah, it will be three. And here ten. Ah, uh, I think that uh, you will get ten and eight. Eighteen. Eighteen minus four. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, I thought I had done four. Yeah, it's there. Fourteen. Yes. And twenty-nine. And twenty-nine. That's given. Yes, all correct. So all these, when you will get the value of means x, you had plug in and y that you are getting. So that means regarding to this one, minus three comma minus one. Uh -huh. Minus two, comma minus six, minus one, comma minus seven. All these are ordered pair which you have to draw on graph. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. You can see that. Uh, are you able to see clearly? Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. It is the best way to understand quadratic graph. Beta. I will upload that as soon as possible on my channel. Okay. Okay. Do you generally used to like my video or not? Yes, sir. I can. I can. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, beta, if there, you have to tell about my channel to all of your friends, uh, also so that so that they can who are not able to reach me, they will go to my channel and also after subscribing, they will also be able to see all that whatever videos are there. Okay. Okay. So minus three comma one, minus three comma minus one that you have to. Minus three is here. Minus yeah. oh, minus one will That's be not. here. Yeah. Minus two comma. Minus six. Minus six. So minus two and is here. Minus. And minus six will be here. Okay. Yeah. And minus one comma seven. Minus one comma minus seven. Yeah. Minus one comma minus seven. So my my six. It will be here, okay? Uh -huh. So and zero comma minus four, zero is here. Minus four that will be here, and uh, one comma three, one comma three that will be one is here, and one two three that will be here, and two comma fourteen, two is here, and fourteen that will be here. Uh -huh. And three comma twenty nine. And three comma twenty nine. Three is here and twenty nine. That will be one before in here. Yes. So you can see that this graph that you are getting there. Okay. <laughs> yes. So. You can notice that that the scale on the y-axis doesn't have been the same as the scale on x-axis. That's why that you didn't find the graph of parabola. Okay, you didn't find graph of parabola. But a little bit that you can see that turning point that may be approximately here. That means, uh, yes, yes, yes. At this point where you are seeing my pointer. Okay. Uh -huh. So the graph of this has been the same as the graph of uh, y equals to x square. Yes, that the same. So it's the same that will be parabola. Clear? Yeah, clear. That's good. So now, yeah, give me one second. I have to connect my charger. One second. Yeah, I'm back. 
so next the graph of any quadratic equation that will be parabola always remember that one okay the graph of any parabolic equation uh, any quadratic equation that will be parabolic okay, okay. now next is yes here beta now i am going to explain you about cubic graph okay okay cubic graph that means maximum power of 3 there will be so in the same way oh my god very big calculation there is so okay we can do that here is x cube minus 5 x square minus 5 x square and then next is next will be uh x and then next is plus 2 sorry plus 2 yes and then <coughs> is right oh yes thank god some values that computer has assigned there so suppose that when you will plug in 2 then you will get 8 over there when you will plug in 3 then you will get 27 over there okay yeah. when you will plug in 5 Then you'll get 125 over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Minus 5x square. X square. One ones are one. Fives are minus five will be there. And three threes are nine. Fives are 45. Minus 45 will be there. Okay. And five fives are 25. Five fives are. Oh, hold on. Five fives are 25. Fives are. Oh my God. Minus 125. <laughs> it will be here. Yeah. X that means here it will be minus one, and then four, that will be four, and then two when you plug in zero, but uh, you can see that there is the constant term, so here will be zero, okay. So all the values that I plug in over there, let's mark it. Yes, all correct. Also they are saying that you have to. Uh, create your graph with the range of minus 1 to 5 okay okay understand yes sir yeah so what's value of y that you will get that okay calculation that will be here 0002 so you will get here 2 next uh, it is uh, 1 2 4 minus 1 will be here uh And then eight to ten to twelve minus eight will be here, uh, and then sixty-four, sixty-eight, seventy minus ten will be here. Okay. Am I right? <coughs> so let's mark it. Yes, that's all correct. so that means in that way that now you are getting your ordered pair with respect to this cubic graph mm -hmm. that is minus 1 minus 5 0 2 1 1 minus 2 minus 8 3 minus 13 4 minus 10 5 7 okay Okay. Yeah, as you know, I explained that to you. Means fundamentally, you have to understand that what your values of x you are plugging, mm -hmm. when you will get the value of y, then x comma y that will be your ordered pair that you have to mention on graph. Okay. Uh. Yes. So you can see that this one. Yeah, minus one, minus five. All these are here. Mm -hmm. So I am going to plug in over there. Minus one, minus five. Minus one, minus five. Oh, sorry. Minus one, minus five will be here. Zero comma two. Zero comma two. That is here. One comma minus one. One comma minus one. That is here. Okay. And uh, it means uh, a little bit. Uh, I can predict that it will be just like as S type of graph. Okay. S or inverted S graph. Two comma minus eight. Two comma minus eight, so it will be here, and three comma minus thirteen, minus ten, twelve minus thirteen, and uh, four comma ten. Four comma minus ten. Four comma minus ten. 
that is here and 5 comma 7 that will be here and no, 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 maybe 5, 7. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Please, please, please. 5, 7 will be here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you can see that. When you will draw the graph, all the points over there, then you can find your graph like this, which you are seeing on your screen. Okay. Yes. Yeah, they are saying that when you do this on paper, you will have to draw the smoothest curve. Okay, you can which fit which fits the point. Do you understand the cubic graph, beta? Great. So here you can see that it is your reciprocal graph. How will you consider that it is reciprocal? The graph which will be in fraction. Okay. Graph which will be a little bit in fraction that will be your reciprocal graph. Also, the range is given minus 2 to 1. So, let's just start quickly. So, yeah, this type of first row is easy. So, 1 by 1 that we can do that. Now, next is that minus 1 by x square. So, 4. Minus 1 by x square minus 2 to the 4, 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25. We need minus 1 by x square, so it will be minus 0 0.25. And in the same way, again, many values, yeah. So here, x equals to minus 1 when you will plug in. So you will get 1 there, okay? Okay. And then, uh, Yes, no, but not 1, you will get minus 1, yes, because that you will plug in x value that is uh, 1, minus 1 ones are 1 and then 1 by 1 that is 1 and there is minus also, there will be minus 1, okay. okay. When you will when you'll plug in uh, minus 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 that means it will be 0 0.25, 1 upon 0 0.25, how much it will be? Do you have calculator? Minus 4. Minus 4? Uh, okay, you can calculate quickly. Here they are taking minus, minus 11. Minus 11. Next. Uh, 11. 11. Uh, and okay. 1. 11 then 1 okay I don't do okay that's for 1 it is 1 for 1 x equals to 1 yes, sir. it will be 1 and, and for 0 0.5 0 0.5 is equal to 4 okay uh, that's it. 0 0.5 equals to 4. It is 4, yes. And then, if you will mark it that, oh my god, just see that, beta, just see that. Minus 11 is not your answer. Up to where I did that, that is correct. Okay, 1.11.1, 1. 1. minus 11.1. Minus 11.1. Uh -huh. Okay. So it will be minus 11.1. And if you we'll plug in 0 0.3, then what will you get there? 11.1. Okay. 11.1. Okay, let's check that. 1, a, 1 also equal and then no, no, no. Here... If we we'll plug in 0 0.3, it's coming 11.111. Okay, sorry, I didn't put minus over there. Yes, minus will be also there. Uh. 
and 0 0.5 when you will plug in so it will be 0 0.25 and I think minus will be there but you yeah. didn't tell me and here minus 1 yes. and then it will be correct clear yes understand yes sir and then, okay next that's the constant term that will be 666 so you have to get all the values of y by calculating that one and then all the points like this so x y minus 2 oh yes minus 2 comma minus 2.5 minus 2 comma 2.5 minus 2.5 okay it will be here but wait it is not coming on minus 2.5 okay a little bit that is downward so we can consider that minus 0 0.5 comma 0 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 comma 0 okay minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 that will be here but minus 0 0.5 that will be here no. minus 0 0.5 and uh, zero. 0 so that means it will be here no, it will be there. and uh, 0 0.3 comma minus 4 so 0 0.3 that is here and uh, minus 4 that will be here okay yes I did that so this type of graph will be here some points have been plotted for you finish off the final three points yes we did that but <coughs> but you can see that uh, if we will if we will draw the points minus 2 comma minus 2.5 minus 2 is here minus 2 is here 0. 0.5 that means a little bit down that will be little bit minus 2.5 so it will be 3 and 3.5 and 4 so 2.5 I mentioned over there it will be but it is not coming there no, that will be there minus 0. Point, oh wait a second yes there's a minus 0. 0.3 comma minus 4 no no no, no 0. 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 is here and minus 4 that will be yes now it is correct so next as usual decided to draw the smooth curve so you can markers on pencil uh -huh. so you will get this type of graph okay so always reciprocal graph that will be just like as this one okay what you are saying there understand what do we do in the middle so we continue the shape of the curve yes 
uh, yeah we can extend that one we can extend that one so whatever equation is given the graph is like this so it is your reciprocal graph beta okay, okay. yeah so here you can see that here our graph that is which we had we did that just before once the graph is drawn you can use the, to find the further information over there okay you can now you can solve your equation okay when you will solve your equation then uh, the solutions that will be found where the y values on the graph are zero okay yes so here you can see that minus 1.4 okay you can see that where y values is zero that means the where the graph is intersecting the x-axis so here you can see that minus 1.4 okay and zero minus 0 0.5 and also here 0 0.4 okay 3 cross you are seeing on x axis okay yes so that means that these will be the solution of your this equation okay because that uh, you will get the three values over there yes Yeah, the left hand side first to subtract two from the both hand side okay the left hand side of the equation is represented by the curve and the right hand side is represented by the line y equals to minus two yes that's right okay means so your previous graph that was this one here they are saying to solve the equation such as 4x minus 1 by x square plus 8 equals to 0 okay so they are doing one thing so your uh, previous equation and what is changed in your previous equation and this one whatever equation is given there is only difference of plus 2 okay so you can subtract both side uh, minus 2 so uh -huh. when I subtract that then on left hand side that you will get your previous equation that uh -huh. is equals to minus 2 so that means uh, your left hand side that will be your graph of whatever that we had drawn just before uh -huh. and y equals to minus 2 so that is your straight line which you are seeing here okay do you understand that yes, miss beta again I am explaining that Firstly, we had solved that whatever graph you are seeing here, that is with respect to weight. You can see that, yeah, it, it is, we, whatever graph you are seeing here, that is with respect to y equals to 4x minus 1 by x square plus 6, yeah. you are seeing here. Now they are asking that to solve the equation such as 4x minus 1 by x square plus 8. So you can see that. If you will subtract minus two on both side, okay, uh -huh. then your then you will get your uh, then you will get your equation previous equation on left hand side and minus two on right hand side, okay. okay? Understand? Yes. Sir. And then minus two will be here, so that means it is your graph of yes, e equation on left hand side. On for yeah. right hand side minus 2 is given that is y equals to minus 2 that will be your straight line which would like to pass over here mm. downwards y equals to minus 2 yes understand yeah yes so this is this shows that the solutions are found where the line y equals to minus 2 crosses the graph okay okay understand Means yes. suppose means we can't we don't have to assume our solution with respect to x axis. Mm -hmm. Our solution will be at x equals at y equals to minus two, where the line will be y equals to minus two, and where the graph will cut that line. Okay. okay. In easy way, you can understand that in this way. Firstly, draw the graph of your left hand side, mm -hmm. and y equals to minus two. And then you have to see that where the graph is cutting y equals to minus 2. Uh -huh. Okay. The, those points will be your solution. Okay. okay. So I think that uh, in that way that uh, your solution will be like 1 minus 1.9. Uh -huh. 
and uh, it will be minus uh, I think uh, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 okay do you understand that yes sir okay that's good so now let's move oh yes so here they are giving that uh, two or three type of equations first is quadratic <coughs> yeah. so quadratic that means answer yes draw the graph so very quickly that you can see that all the values we will plug in and then your graph will be just like as this okay, okay. yeah because it's a quadratic equation that's why your graph will be parabolic in nature okay secondly it is your cubic graph and the range is minus 2 to 3 so cubic graph that means also that you have to plug in your values of x over there when you plug in minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 okay so in that way that you will get your values and then minus 2 comma minus 15 minus 2 comma minus 15 and all these when you will mention all the point then you will get your graph like this understand yes sir great and the next is they are saying that find the value of pqr to one decimal place for this table using the equation okay equation is given to you yeah. <clears throat> oh so simply you have to do one thing that uh, just uh, plug in the value of x equals to 2 okay so wait 2 2 is a 4 minus 4 sorry 2 2 is a 4 4 minus 0 0.54 minus 0 0.5 so it will be 3.5 yeah. and uh, minus 1 by 2 yeah 3.5 minus 1.5 okay so I think that yeah you are right but why are seeing minus 1.5 it will be uh, minus 0 0.5 I think that will be yeah, minus 0. yeah. A PQR, the value of PQR are 6. What? Hold on, give me a second. They are saying that value of PQR that is 6.5. Wait, when you plug in x equals to minus 2, 2 to the 4 will be here. Oh my god, 4, 3, 7, it will be. Sorry, sorry. So, yeah, because it is also positive. So, 4, 3, 7 and 7 minus 0 0.5. Yeah, you will get 6.5. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, 6.5. Yes, and also if you will plug in the value of x, that is 0 0.2. So, it will be 0 0.4. So, 0 0.3, 3, 0 0.4. 3 plus 0 0.4, that is 3.4. And 1 by 8.2. So, you will get that... Uh, 8.04 yeah 8.04 or here they are taking that 8.0 there okay yes and then you have to draw the graph of your all the values whatever that you get over there then you will get your graph like this okay okay but what happened to near zero x equals to zero okay so x equals to zero so you will get three uh, yes, so in that way, the curve approaches the positive y-axis as x-axis as approaches 0 on positive side. The curve approaches negative y-axis as negative y-axis as x approaches to negative side. Okay. It gets close to the y-axis, but never quite right. touches it, okay? okay? Yes, so I explain all these three to you, Vita. Now come to the next one. Yes, it's your function or power graph, okay? okay. Or you can also say that it's your exponential graph. Exponential graph, always remember, me suppose that whatever that will be given in power, okay? So, in that way that you can draw your graph. <coughs> Understand? Yes, sir. So, now with respect to the, in the same way that also that we have to plug in the values of, yeah, you can see that. 
it's a power or exponent of 2 so that's why that uh, exponential function that it is known as okay uh -huh. or the graph that will be your power graph okay uh -huh. and then always remember that uh, exponential function that will be in the form of y equals to a into b to the power x okay, okay? where a and b are the fixed values or also we can say that those are constant and now one by one that we have to plug in the value of x equals to 0 1 2 3 4 so y equals to when you plug in 0 then you will get a so a is sometimes called the initial value okay okay a is sometimes called the initial value so yes so here suppose that there are three or four conditions which i am going to tell you beta here you can see that suppose y equals to a into b to the power x that is given to you and a is great x is greater than or equals to zero okay understand then you will get your graph like this okay yeah when b equals to 1, then the function will no longer exponential and simplifies to y equals to a, that means it will be a straight line parallel to the x-axis, okay? Okay. And the third one, when b is less than, okay, 0 is less than, b is less than 1, then it will, I mean, see in a previous one that is greater than, so it was in increasing order. Here you can see that it will decreasing in order, okay? okay. <clears throat> yes. So to plot the graph of exponential function, you need to be able to work out to the values of expressions such as like uh, 50 times 1.2 to the power 10. So without calculator, it is not possible to get the values, okay? So you will get like 309.58 and then Regarding to this one, you have to mention your all the values and then you will get your graph, okay? Uh -huh. <coughs> suppose that one function that is given y equals to 60 into 1.4 to the power x. Uh -huh. So when you will plug in x equals to 0, then you will get 60. Yeah, you will get 60. <laughs> and 0 0.5 so here beta 0 0.5 that means now you have to use your calculator uh -huh. then you will get uh, 71 near nearly 71 and yeah, then right. when oh my god do you have calculator yes sir yeah okay uh, okay when you will plug in okay it's easy it's easy when you will plug in x equals to 1 so 60 times 1.4 just do that Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Okay. Now, ninety-nine point three. Wait, it is saying that sixty times one point four to the power one point five. That is better. Yeah, one point five. It's ninety-nine point three. What you are saying? Ninety-nine point three. So you are getting 99.3 and when you will plug in x equals to 2, so x equals to 2 one that means 117.6. 117.6, okay. Wait, 117.6. So we can do one thing, we can do it 118. Mm -hmm. You told me 99 point how much? 99.3 So you can do that 99 So let's mark it Yes, that's right Means uh, yeah, you have to also You also have to round off that beta okay. Because that will be much convenient to Draw on your graph because you can't take decimal values, okay? Okay As value of y so when you will draw this one then you will get your graph like this okay, okay? 
here you can clearly understand that the value of b that is greater than 0 so that's why that you are getting your increasing graph okay from down to up okay greater than 0 that means it is your 1.4 okay that's why you are getting increasing graph understand yeah yeah like that understand yes and if that will be equals to one so you will get your straight line graph if that will be less than then that downwards graph you will get there okay so it was three different type of graphs which i had explained that to you but, huh? mm -hmm. now next is exponential yes reciprocals let's see that a little bit more information they are giving with respect to reciprocal graph mm -hmm. understanding what is a reciprocal of a number is okay yes reciprocal we know that reciprocal uh -huh. Of 5, that is 1 by 5, yes. Yeah. That's right. Reciprocal also, if there is a fraction, so that will reverse, beta. Reciprocal of 4, reciprocal of 4, that will be 1 by 4. But why they are asking this one? Reciprocal of 10, that is 1 by 10. And reciprocal of 1 by 3, so that will be 3 by, three by, one. by 1, yeah. And 2 by 8, that will be eight. your 8 by 2. Yes, and then perfect score, yes, that's right. Oh my god, what they are asking here? Plotting a reciprocal graph, yes. So here, 0 0.5, 1 by 2. Yes, uh, 1 by 2, that is 0. Point, oh, wait, 0. 0.5. And minus 0. 0.5. Minus 0. 0.5. Minus 0. Oh, 0.2. Wait, 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 wait. Minus 0. 0.5. And minus 0. 0.2. And uh, minus 0. 0.2. Yes, all that's all right. Let's see that. But what, okay, we are saying that uh, what will be the effect? So here you are seeing one doodle here. So regarding to that means uh, if the value that you will decrease, then you can see that the value of decimal, decimal value that is getting increased, okay? Uh -huh. So that means in reciprocal, the value would like to increase, yes. If you are decreasing the value of denominator over there mm -hmm. and then you can see that the value of that will be increased over here okay yeah so that means simply you can understand that whatever less value that you will take of x the maximum value of 1 by x that you will get there okay, okay. <clears throat> understand yes sir it, okay yes so here you can see that drag the slider to see what will happen yes between one and five okay so if you will drag that you can see that your graph is coming approximately like this okay okay yeah so at this point okay at this point that curve skips from positive to negative mm -hmm. negative to positive okay uh -huh. we call it as a symptom a symptom okay uh -huh. understand yes, so a symptom that means always remember that when the graph would like to change from negative to positive or positive to negative that will be your symptom okay, okay. So whatever that you will get over here, the same that you will also get over here, okay, on this side. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, because you can see that the positive values that you are getting over there, up, and negative value that you are getting over here also, okay? 
okay sketch the graph of these quantities okay answer yes you can see that when you will draw the graph of y equals to 5 by x then you can you can get your graph like this and uh, next is like this you can get your graph like this here that is table that you are seeing there the curve 1 by x the curve is 1 by x but moves down minus 3 unit you can see here yes sir okay yes that's why you are getting this type of graph and that is a minus 1 by x yes so 1 by x that you will get that with respect to first and third quadrant okay okay you will get the same graph with respect to first and third quadrant but here they are taking minus 1 by x so you will get your graph with respect to second and fourth quadrant okay understand yes sir great now what is this one planetary okay what they are okay 5 divided by 5 1 0 divided by 5 5 yes 5 divided by 0 and define 0 divided by 0 and yeah, that will be 0 <laughs> okay so but I explain all that but are related to this one let's see that exponential graph a little bit more conveniently they are also explaining over here Understanding the idea of exponential graph, yes, take a paper and then you can divide that into half and then you can divide that into by 4, okay? So, in that way, wait, I am seeing that what they are doing here, oh yes. So, in that condition, you can see that as, as well as you are increasing the value, you are, you are, yeah, you are in decreasing the value of uh, denominator. You are also getting, okay, increment in the size of number, means uh, words, letters, okay. Yeah, uh, exponential grow, growth, how? Oh, exponential growth. So you can see that from down to up. So the same thing that they are also explaining here. So if the value of B that will be greater than zero, then you will get your graph like this, okay? You can, you can see that firstly zero, so that was 0 0.101. Then they had increased that by 10, 20, 30, 40. Then you can see that this type of growth that you will see there, okay? Next is uh, bacterial growth. A student is going through one of these don't wash energy phase okay on the first day of the term is grow that he has 500 bacteria growing in her hair in his hair this type of bacteria doubles every hour okay how many bacteria that will be that will he have by the same time tomorrow okay so 0, 1, 2, then 4, yes, there much, must be a quicker way of working out 500 times 2 times 2 times 2, yes, so 500 times 2 to the power 3, so at that time before you can see that before the bacteria was like this and then they are doing all that and now when it will affect all that so now 500 times 2 to the power 24 okay 500 times 2 to the power 24 so that means so with the help of calculator we can calculate this one uh, okay I think that uh, yes calculator can do the sum of that but we can't <laughs> <laughs> yes, so next is here, but also they are saying that the 
bacterial graph that they are explaining. Uh -huh. So here, drag the cross to the correct coordinates. 5 comma 16,000. Okay. 500. In 16,000. So where we will Yes, a little bit this one, yes, it will be ease. Are you understanding that in return? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, you can see that. Means when your graph will start, then you have to draw a curve like that, okay? That's why that I am doing in the same way. Oh, wait. Nine. On nine, it will be where? Yes. And on ten, then it will be approximately here. Or here. No. No, no, a little bit. But wait. Five one two. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. So in this way that you will do that and you will get your graph of exponential. We say indirectly that they are explaining exponential graph here. Okay. So you can see that this type of growth that you will see there understand yes okay Buddha. so thanks for today up to here that i explained to you just say gotham to be online within two minutes Buddha. Yes, okay sir. thank you bye bye and very quickly that i will upload this one okay yes, thanks a lot